Hello and welcome to Monster Insights. Today we'll be showing you how to set up Contact Form 7 conversion tracking with Google Analytics. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified when we post the next video showing you how to grow your website and reach your audience. Do you want to track your Contact Form 7 conversions? By tracking your form's views, conversions, and conversion rates, you can identify which forms are performing better. And you can gain insight that's going to help you to optimize your other forms as well. In this video, we'll show you the simplest method to track your Contact Form 7 conversions in Google Analytics. Now, by default, neither Google Analytics nor Contact Form 7 will track your online form's conversions. So that means you'll need to manually set it up in Google Analytics. We'll put a link in the description to our step-by-step -step guide showing you how you can do it yourself. But be warned, it's not beginner-friendly, it's time-consuming, and it can be very confusing, especially if you're a beginner. But thankfully, you don't have to worry about that because there's a much easier way for you to track your forms. With Monster Insights Pro, you can start tracking your forms in minutes with just a few clicks, and you don't need coding skills, and you won't have to hire someone to do it for you. You'll get real-time reporting about your form's views, conversions, and conversion rates. And you'll discover what forms are converting best and optimize the forms that aren't doing so well. And best of all, Monster Insights supports all the major WordPress form plugins, including Contact Form 7. Now to start, you'll need to install Monster Insights Pro. You'll need to have a Google Analytics account. And you'll need to make sure that you've uninstalled any Google Analytics plugins and removed any tracking code that you might have installed previously. So to get started with the installation of the Monster Insights plugin, you'll need to log into your WordPress dashboard. Now, once you've logged in, you can head over to the plugins page and install Monster Insights to your website. If you haven't already done so, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your Monster Insights account area. Now, if you don't have a Monster Insights account yet, that's not a problem. Just go to monsterinsights.com forward slash YTVIP to take advantage of a special deal that we've created for our YouTube viewers. Now, once you've purchased a Monster Insights Pro license, you'll need to download your plugin. So if you're not already logged in, just head over to monsterinsights.com and log into your Monster Insights account by clicking the login link at the top of the page. Then fill in your login details. Next, you'll need to navigate to Monster Insights download area. Once you're there, just click the download link on the right side of the screen. All right, now that you've downloaded the file, you can head back to your WordPress website and log in. Now on your WordPress dashboard, you'll need to navigate to plugins and then click add new. Now you'll need to click the upload plugin button at the top of the page. Then click the choose file button to select the zip file that you just downloaded from Monster Insights. Next, click the Install Now button to upload the file and install the plugin on your site. Now, as a side note, if you've previously installed Monster Insights Lite, you'll need to click the Deactivate the Lite plugin button. Then, on the plugin screen, just click the Activate link just under the Monster Insights Pro plugin. Okay, next you'll need to click the Launch the Wizard button. Then, choose the option that best describes your website and click Save and Continue. Now, enter your license key. You can find your license key on your My Account page or in your confirmation email that you received from Monster Insights when you made your purchase. Once the authenticating process is completed, click the Connect Monster Insights button. Next, you'll need to choose the Google Analytics account that you'd like to associate with your website. Once the screen loads, click Allow to give the Monster Insights plugin access to your Google Analytics account. All right, now if you have more than one website associated with your Google Analytics account, you'll need to select the website that you're wanting to track with the Monster Insights plugin and click the Complete Connection button. Once the connection is finalized, you'll need to review some simple Monster Insights settings and then click the Save and Continue button right at the bottom of the page. On the next page, you'll see a list of Pro License recommended add-ons. So you can quickly review these and then just click the Save and Continue button. Now on the next page, just click the Skip button at the bottom of the page since you're already using Contact Form 7. Once Monster Insights finishes checking your website, simply click the Finish Setup and Exit Wizard button. Now you'll need to install the Monster Insights Forms add-on. Now this is really easy. To do it, just click the Add-ons link on the sidebar under Insights. Once the page loads, you'll need to click the Install button next to the Forms add-on. You'll notice that the status changes from not installed to active, and that's it. So you don't need any further configuration. You've completed the setup process with just a few clicks. 
One thing to keep in mind is that Google Analytics can take a day or two before it begins tracking your form, so you may not see your form's reports immediately. Once Google begins tracking your forms, you'll want to check out your form's conversion reports. Now to do that, just click Reports under Insights. Once the page loads, you'll see the overview report of your entire site. Next, you'll need to click the Forms link at the top of the page to be able to see your reports. OK, now in the first column, you'll see the names of your WordPress forms. The second column allows you to see the total number of times that your form has been viewed. In the third column, you'll see the number of times that forms have been successfully completed on your website. And finally, in the last column, you'll see the percentage of conversion rates for each of your forms. Now, if you need to view more details about your form's conversions, you can just click the View Full Forms Report button at the bottom of the page. This will redirect you to your Google Analytics account, where you can see additional information about individual forms' total impressions and conversions. So that's it. That's how you can easily track your Contact Form 7 conversions with Google Analytics. Now get started with the most powerful and user-friendly WordPress Analytics plugin on the market. Monster Insights is trusted by more than 2 million professionals to grow their business and offers a 14-day money-back guarantee. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when we post the next video. In the meantime, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more free tips, tricks, and tutorials for using Monster Insights in WordPress.